here, we are at Port Parham, South Australia's best crabbing beach. Now we've got high expectations because this is the best beach in South Australia to catch blue swimmer crabs, but at the same time, we've got very low expectations because it's very early in October, very cold still, and I'm not sure if any of the real big males will be out there, but it's worth having a crack. Now, a couple of things I'm very excited about is one, testing out my new wetsuit style boots because in the past I've just wore old sneakers and what happens is all your sand and the shell and bits and pieces when you're walking around in there get stuck in the back and I just get massive big red blisters that are so sore so these are super comfy right now so I'm hoping that for the rest of the afternoon it's just gonna be perfect so we'll see how they go but also I'm just excited because it's a Thursday so hopefully it won't be as busy out there I can already count oh, I want to say six or seven people out there, so there's a couple of people doing the same sort of thing, but hopefully we can sort of get a couple, um, and yeah, we'll go from there, but tide's out, so it's going to be a good probably a kilometre and a half walk before we even get to the water, so we might as well start that, so let's get the walk started, and yeah, we'll see you out there. So as you can tell, tidy's out. Now, like I said just before, you're probably looking at a good kilometre walk. But, you know, that's all right. Builds the steps up, good fitness. You don't need a huge amount for this sort of thing. I've got my rake, just got a plastic tub with a rope on it, just tied around my waist. But there are some lads who have got pretty sweet setups. They've got like full roller wheels sort of style that float and then they just have to drag them across these sand flats. But also they've got like, you know, fishing rods, all that sort of stuff, just in case they see, I guess, a few silver whiting swimming around. I'm not quite that advanced. I'm pretty keen just to, uh, yeah, have a crack for a few crabs. Also, we're gonna do rake cam. So I've attached a GoPro to the rake. So hopefully we can get some close up footage of me, hopefully digging up a couple crabs. But like I said, no expectations at this stage. We'll just uh, see how we go. Fingers crossed we get a couple. So, we're halfway. We're halfway. Whew. Need like a little motorbike. That'd have been all right. All right, I'll see you out there. Righto, so, a little bit of a report on the new shoes. Pretty comfortable. They sort of feel like you're walking on air, which is really nice but they haven't got wet yet, so can't really give you a full rundown until they've been fully submerged for a few hours. So we'll see how it goes. The walk continues. Righto, we've made it. We are at the water's edge. Took a good five minutes to get here, but conditions aren't too bad. Nice and clean, a little bit ripply, but we'll see how we go. So let's start scratching and see if we can find a few crabs. All right, so we're just sort of scratching around the edge. They're like little creeks, I guess you'd call them. Just seeing if there's any sort of sign of a bit of a changing color of sand. But at this stage, a bit unsuccessful though. Oh, this little sneaky one over here, let's have a look. Let's see if I can find something a bit interesting. Hey, he was literally just hiding. Let's just see. I reckon he might be close, but I don't know. Nah, too small. Smally, smally. So, just the technique, if you're not sure what you're doing and how to do it, 
then I'm no expert, that's for sure, but give it a bit of a rake, sort of start scratching around a little bit, and you'll feel or hear a change when the metal rakes, so there you go, a little one just popped up. All you do is flick it around, and then if that's big enough, into the bucket, but too small. But let's see if we can, there you go. So you heard the sound change, and then that one just jumped out. Oh, missed it. So you get a couple of chances, but when you've mucked up the sand a bit, it's hard to see, but yeah, it's like a little flick and turn as you lift up. Righto guys, so that is done and dust for the afternoon. Now I've spent a good couple of hours out there scratching about to no real success. Um, I reckon I would have seen at least 200 like undersized crabs, which is a good sign because there are lots of small ones about, but nothing with any size. So I think I'm just way too early in the season. Um, so I reckon I'll give it another crack later when it warms up a bit, maybe sort of in that summertime when the waters are warmer, but it has been a bit of fun. And I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me, you know, fluff about trying to get some things. One thing that did come out of this um, day was how good my boots are. Now, I know I've mentioned it about three or four times so far, but seriously, these are awesome. They're so comfy, I might even just wear them to work. But I have had no rubbing of sand or shell that I usually get and also I've stepped on about five or six crabs which have came around to try to bite me and I didn't even realize because these boots are so good so very very happy with that but till next time guys hopefully we can uh, get a few more runs on the board get a few fish get a few smiles but ultimately it's just good fun being out here so take it easy guys until next time we'll speak to you then Chasing the rules.